Hey everybody, Tanya with Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to show you how to make print and cut stickers in Inkscape. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Now, I've already gone through a tutorial on how to make print and cut stickers with Silhouette, but I thought I would go through the same techniques in Inkscape as it is pretty simple and straightforward. I'm gonna do a very basic text design and then I'm gonna go through a little bit more of an intricate one so y'all can see exactly what it takes to do this, okay? So, to get started, I'm gonna head over to my computer and we're gonna get right into it. So, if you see here, I have this just basically text-based um, SVG here that I have created in uh, Inkscape and so for us to create an offset to create the print and cut sticker you're going to select your design and go to path and you're going to go to linked offset. Now when you do this you will see a little diamond here. Before you start dragging out you're going to want to make sure that you uncheck the enable snapping. Go down and make sure your color is changed to something that is not the same as your design. Go over to the diamond and drag out until it is something you are satisfied with. And I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger, okay? And I am good with that. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna go path, object to path, and you're gonna see all of these little nodes in here. Actually, it looks like maybe I want to make that a little bit bigger because these aren't touching. I did. So I'm gonna back out on that offset. I'm gonna do that again. Really quickly here. Change that color to red and make sure that, that there we go, is touching. And we're good. Again, pad object to path. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this bad boy up. So everything that you see a node in, you are just gonna select and delete those out because every node is a place where the machine will cut and we do not want that. Okay. Make sure we're good for the rest of it and that looks good. I'm going to change this color to white. I'm going to go to stroke and I'm going to increase that and change that stroke color to, whoops, and change this stroke color to black if I could get there. And I'm done. Okay, so that is the first way to do it. Very quick, very simple. Now, when you're getting into designs that have multiple colors or multiple areas grouped in together, it gets a little bit more, I wouldn't say hairy scary, but a little bit more difficult, okay? But it's the same process, you're just gonna be doing it one or two or three different times depending on how many colors you have, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize or open up my other window here. And here I just have two colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the black part first and I'm going to go to path, linked offset. I'm gonna change that color to red. Make sure the snapping is not enabled and I'm gonna drag this out and I'm gonna do it so that my letters touch Okay, and that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna go path, object to path. I'm gonna do the same thing for the leaf here. Linked offset, I'm gonna make sure that it is red. And I'm gonna drag this out until everything is touching, okay? And I'm gonna go to path, object to path. Now here's the trick here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this offset is selected, but you're also going to select the second offset that is on your board. And you're gonna go to path, union, okay? Now those are all together and now you can go through and clean everything up. And it's just gonna be that same process where you go through and delete these extra nodes. And I hear my kids in the background, so 
one may be coming in to request something. <laughs> Yes, babe. Can I watch my TV? Go ahead. Uh, I don't know where my TV is. Check on the dresser. Okay. Single mom life. Woo. Okay, I missed a couple here. And of course, I'm probably going to end up cleaning this up in another program um, or sit down and delete some of these extra nodes because it is a bit messy. But we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to white. And that's all there is to it. That's how simple it is. If you're doing just one color, it's very basic. You want to just make sure that um, all the edges are kind of touching so it's not as hard to clean up. And if you're doing multiple colors, you just want to do that linked offset. Make sure your snapping is enabled, un not enabled for each of the colors. Ensure they're touching, clean the nodes up, and then you're good to go. If you all have any questions on this process, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below. If not, head on over to the Facebook group and feel free to ask questions there. And um, if you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good night.